Hello once again, my friends. It is time for another story. A return of a classic. The return of Hunterbeard, the Chad Sayer. Sayer? Chad Slayer? I'm not even going to cut that out. I'm leaving it like that. Professionalism. Dignitude. Let's move on. Hi, Moonhorse. Hello. And all you lovely people out there. For a long time, everything around Hunterbeard fell really silent. This is probably because JT and I finished the Monster Hunter... Hunter... I can't talk. Monster... One more time. Monster Hunter DLC. And I'm leaving that in too so you can make fun of me. <laughs> and stop playing. Since then I kind of found myself a new girlfriend who helped me pick up some new hobbies outside of my computer. But, you know, I didn't really have any good stories until a few days ago. But... Let's reintroduce the cast once more. Myself, still the victim of the Beard's affection and his beloved Asuna, by and still full of anxiety. I have never related more to a tiny sentence. Hunter Beard, the neckbeard I met while playing Monster Hunter World, way too obsessed with sword art online, and has a very creepy crush on me. I did slow down to enunciate Monster Hunter World very carefully, and I only know what Sword Art Online is because of you guys. So, yeah, I am learning. So there. Sometimes I intentionally mispronounce it, just because I know it's funny. Now you know that. As I said in the beginning, I haven't heard much from this guy for a long time, besides uh, the occasional hi and how are you. But a few days ago, when I was sitting at my desk listening to music via my headset, while browsing for some new clothes on the internets, I got a call on Discord. As you may have guessed, it's him. It seemed really unusual that he would call me via Discord because he just texted me from time to time. First I ignored it and turned down the call. I didn't really want to talk. But then I got a message from him saying that it's very important that he needs to talk to me. Oh, what can I say? Curiosity gets the best of me, so I answer the next call. Hey, what's up? I, I need to I need to ask you something. Yeah, what's up? I was wondering if maybe you want to come over when this whole crisis thing is over. Uh, no. I'm, I'm from Germany. I really can't afford that. I mean, I'd pay for the ticket. You could stay at my place. We could go to CODs if you like. I can even get us cosplays. I read that wrong. We could go to CODs if you like. I even got us cosplays. What? Yeah, I, I knew you'd like that, especially when you see the one I got. I'll show you. As he's speaking, I receive a bunch of selfies. I would love to share these pictures with you, but... Even I respect the privacy of this creep. He had sent me the pictures of himself in his room... Wearing a not well fitting Kirito costume. See, Hunterbeard wasn't fat. In fact, he was tall and really slender. He has one of those emo scene haircuts, which he had dyed blue and looked really greasy. The costume looked way too small on him, so you could see the pale skin of his arms underneath. He actually had no beard, but his head looked like an orange that was dyed white and with a very pointy nose. Even more interesting was his room. Oh, friends, the things I have seen in these pictures. Shelves packed with anime figures of various genre and stages of dr Stages of dress. Oof. Posters of girls getting loved. Especially Asuna. A body pillow of Asuna. In her underwear, of course. A bunch of really bad hentai drawings. I was speechless. I knew some anime fans from back in my con days, but they usually only had one or two figures. Not one or two shelves of those figures. And most of them had some manga, but that was about it. But wait, did he not say he bought you a costume as well? Well, yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he fucking did. And you can all probably guess what it was. Is it what you're thinking? Yeah. He told me via the call that this one's for me and sent me a selfie of him holding up a fucking Asuna costume. So do you like it? I really don't want to play into his fantasy. 
yeah, no, I would not feel comfortable cross-dressing. Also, I don't want you spending money on me. So, you don't want to be my suit of You can still be my P Pico. That worries me. Dude, stop. I don't want to be your anything. I have a girlfriend. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Did you cheat on me? He sounded like he was freaked out and sobbing. We've never been in a relationship, so no, I didn't cheat on you. <laughs> I love you more than anyone else ever will. Holy fuck, dude. No, you don't. You don't even know me. Otherwise, you would have known that I'm not into your stuff, man. I gotta go. I hung up after that. I need a cigarette to really understand that some random guy from another country bought me a costume and thinks he's in love with me. For the past few days after this interaction, silence fell around HP again. Not even the usual, hi, I want to play this game, or how are you? I guess the last thing I said really hit a nerve. Hope you all got a good bit of cringe out of this one, and I will update you if I get any news from Hunter Beard, the Kirito Swordmaster of Chad Slayers. Also, thank you again, Moonhorse, for reading all those stories and creating such an awesome community. Well, you're welcome for me reading the stories, but the awesome community, the secret is, that's all of you guys. I bet your videos make not only my day a bit better, but all of ours. Well, I'm really happy that I can make you guys uh, feel better with these videos. I honestly never would have thought me reading weird shit on the internet would be enough for people to be super into it. But, hey, fuck it. I'm down with it. Let's do this. But getting back to our story, oh shit, bruh. You dodged a fucking bullet. That is some crazy shit. I... I'm not entirely surprised that this guy had that kind of weird obsession with you. See, we don't usually talk about a certain subset of the neckbeard variety, uh, which is neckbeards, much like all of us, are a spectrum. And what I mean to say is that Yes, there are gay neckbeards. And I'm sure the question you have, aside from hearing this story, is, but Moonhorse, how do you know that? Well, I've met them. See, that's, that's a whole different story in and of itself. I just did the sassy coffee drink thing, but I realized I don't have a camera, so there's no fucking point in me doing that. I'm doing real good tonight, you guys. Also, yes, there are those... I actually knew one uh, from back in the day. You've actually heard of him. Um, Mew, from my stories, was, for the longest time, uh, claimed to be openly bisexual before, you know, he became born again and said that he had that purged from him because Jesus. I don't believe it, but sure. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same... You would expect a neckbeard the way they act around women. It's the same when they're, you know, it's the same when they're LGBT as well. It's, mm, it, it's, it's a thing. It is very much a thing. And it's super fucking awkward. And it's really fucking cringe. So, that is absolutely a thing. And I am so sorry you had to deal with that. Because that is... That, that's some shit right there. Um, I gotta be honest, I, I have noticed. This is, a, this is a very specific kind of thing, too. There's, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to neckbeards who collect things, the figures, figurines, models, all of these things, have a perfect little identifier stuck in the middle, even though I don't think it was intentional by the people who make these products. There's one of two kind when it comes to this kind of thing. There's, there's one of two kinds of people. There's either going to be like Hunter Beard here, described as your, you know, your angsty anime anti-hero who has the, the sexy girl figures, and yes, those are a thing. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you why that's a thing, but no, it's a thing. It absolutely is. And... They have those, or on the opposite end of the spectrum, 
there are people who have the model kits of honestly a lot of giant robots. There's a lot of giant robots and things like that. I sit on the spectrum with the giant robots. I like giant robots. I mean, you could probably tell if you ever actually saw my shelf of weird knickknacks that I have collected. There's a few of them there. There's a lot more. I have a giant, it's got to be like a foot and a half tall, model of the Gundam Epion that Songo bought me for my birthday. So, there's... I've said this without getting too, too far off topic, but we are still kind of talking about this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, there is really something, honestly, calming and kind of, I don't know what the word is, relaxing. It seems like there's a better word. Building those model kits for me, which is why I like them so much. I mean, I also like giant robots, but yeah, I, I just, the act of doing that is super, super calming and I really like it. Now, the sexy girl thing... That, I'm not into that. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need little porn statues, thank you. That's, I realize that's a thing. But it, it makes me uncomfortable and I would rather not. As for our friend Hunter Beard, uh, I honestly, yeah, I, th I think that's why you're probably not going to hear from him for a little bit. Is because our boy is in a place where, you know, his, his waifu for life who just said no. Or rather, his husbando for... I can't think of a rhyme. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't have one. That really wasn't... I'm not planning this out. But, yeah, I think that's kind of what happened. Is Our boy is a little heartbroken. And I'm honestly surprised you didn't get a bunch of, like, you know, the flood of nasty, angry, nice guy 180 messages. But maybe the reason for that is because he's going to return someday to try once again to woo you, m'lady. <laughs> I'm well aware of the fact that you're not a woman. I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, with that being said, thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you enjoyed my weird segues into what the fuckery, because it's that kind of night. I'm feeling like that. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.